Welcome back to another video. We're doing a haul today. As you already obviously saw, I had so many bags and so many boxes. It's time for another haul. For those who saw on my Instagram, I did a poll if I should cut my hair. What happened to me? I have short hair now, so I was trying out new makeup looks and I know it's not a spring look. It's a little too heavy with the lipstick on, but I thought, mm, let me try something out and this is what it turned out to be today, so. The first things that I am going to try out are my oversized hoodies. I bought four of them. Well, I got the same three hoodies, but in different colors because I wasn't sure which one I should get. Uh, so I got the brown one, I got black, and I got gray. These are all from Stradivarius. And the last one is in khaki or gray brown color, I would say. And it's also a thinner material and it has a turtleneck. Let's try one. Sweater number one. This one is the gray one. I like... I really like how comfortable these are. They are super soft on the inside. I'm not mad at them. I also think the size is perfect. Uh, I'm an XS. And for an oversized sweater, hoodie, sweater, I think it's a perfect size. The only thing is, but this just counts for me, I think my legs look super tiny in this sweater. Like I just don't think this style matches me at all. Or maybe it's the color, I'm not sure. But besides for loungewear, I don't think I would wear them out. But thumbs up though, I really like this sweater. So here is the same sweater in black. Just because it's black, I already love it way more than I do with the gray one. It makes me look a little more tan, is that it? And it's suiting the short hair more than it is with the gray sweater. Again, my legs are quite tiny in this, but it's not as visible as the other one. Material super soft, lengthwise super great. Maybe I could pull them off if I put like biker pants underneath and sweater. I'm gonna try it, give me one second. Guys, I actually really like the sweater now. I mean, you know what it's giving? It's giving me Princess Diana vibes. With like, the sweatpants and the sneakers. It's a keeper. This is me not saving money. Next color. Oh, now that I put these biker shoes on and with the hat and the sneakers, I'm starting to like all of them. I put the gray one back on again, just to check if it was just the outfit. But the gray one still wasn't, wasn't really like a big fan of it. So, I don't know which one I like more, the black one or this one. I actually think this one, then again, black does match everything, you know? Super in love with these sweaters. I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep one. I'm just not sure which one. Last but not least is this hoodie. It has a turtleneck, which I like a lot. I just don't know if during springtime I'm going to like the... Because during wintertime it's really nice to have something warm around your neck. But during springtime, when it's gonna become a little summery and a little warmer, I don't know if this is going to suffocate me. FYI, for you guys that don't know, um, probably all of you guys don't know this, I have this problem where if things are too tight around my body, I automatically think that blood isn't flowing through my blood correctly and therefore like something's gonna go wrong. But like tight clothes is fine. It's just, it's just the, the sleeves and like the neck and especially sweatpants that like come tight around my ankles here. Either way, I like this, but I think there's not enough fat, like it's very, it's not shapening at all. And for someone that is not curvy, this is not that flattering. So this is gonna be a pass for me, but I do love the color a lot and I do like the style. I think it's just for someone that's a little more curvy. The next category is crop tops. 
If you haven't seen my Instagram yet, I am just a sucker for crop tops. Elegant, classy, sporty, chill. Relax. All you have to do is put something else on top of it to completely change your look. For me, crop tops are it. So, I got a black and a white one from Stradivarius and XS. I got a ballet crop top, which is one of these bad boys in white and in black. And I got normal crop tops. I need to stop shopping. In excess as well. And I got one in white and black, and black and brown. And they're all very stretchy. I've never tried these before, and um, my arms, in my opinion, compared to like the rest of my body, are quite large. So, um, I'm not that I'm insecure or anything. I'm just a little more aware of my arms. So anything that's like sleeveless, uh, yeah, I gotta think twice about it. So first up is the ballet crop top. I really, really do like how it looks. I got it in XS and it isn't too small, it isn't too big, and look how stretchy this thing is. It gives off a very sporty vibe. And, oh yeah, I haven't even mentioned yet, these biker pants are in XS. I also got them from Stradivarius. I'm a big fan of Stradivarius, guys. I like it. It's giving me a walk in the park, lounging around. So here is the crop top in white with like the spaghetti straps. As I remember from when I bought them last year, they were a little shorter. Like this is running quite low. And it's very, very see-through. Like I remember the quality of these crop tops being way better. You can see all the extra fabric laying around in the back, just chilling there. So sadly, this is a no for me. Okay, this is so weird. This crop top and the white one were literally attached to each other, like in one of those little price tags. The quality is so much better. It's tighter, it's more elastic. Like I said, I bought the black and the brown one, like also attached to one, and those are fine. So I'm gonna return this one. Okay, so we're moving on from the sporty vibe and we're getting more into the chill jeans. Mom Slim Fit or Slim Mom Fit from Stradivarius in a size 34. And I really, really do love the color. I like how it sits. It's nice and tight around the waist, but it gives a little space around the booty area. They are light enough for summer, like for springtime. So I do like them. Once again, I'm gonna put some boots on and see how this goes. Okay, so here are the pants. And this was the black crop top I was wearing before. And I paired them with these boots. These boots are from Pull and Bear and they're in a size 39. They do run a little small, but with these jeans, I feel very rocker, but I like it. I was super excited about these crop tops. I really wanted these. And I got them in the size XS, but oh my god, they're so small. For crop tops, they're quite elegant. It's just, I'm already very aware of my arms and now you want to just blob more boobies out of the side here. Look how nice the white one is. I really, really love the white one. Okay, I'm definitely getting them in a bigger size. I don't want the black one, I just want the white one in a bigger size. So I paired them with, they're literally just called straight pants. Sorry, I made a really weird face because I was trying to translate them from Dutch. It's literally called straight pants. Just so you know, mainly the things that I buy are always on sale. I love to just see what I can work with and try to not spend that much money. Yeah, student life. But look at this combo. I love the pants. I think I'm just gonna, like, if I have to choose one, I'd rather buy these and return the mom pants. It's a keeper. 
Okay, so I'm back and I changed into the more comfortable ballet crop top because this one is just comfy to the max. But the next category is jackets. I only got two jackets. So the first contender is the gray jacket from Stradivarius and I got it in a size XS. There is no hoodie, there are no buttons, two pockets on the side only, and it's knee length. If you do want to tie it, then you use this, I don't know what this is called, like the bathroom tie. What do you guys think? The pockets are insane though, like, okay, let me show you. Hand, pocket, hand in pocket. This deep. Next one is the brown one. And here is the last jacket. This jacket is from Stradivarius as well. Same thing, two pockets only, but this jacket is over the knee and has a more stylish, like, I don't know what this flappy thing is, but I'm digging it. And it has buttons in the front and it has a bathroom tie lace thing. They're both the same price. I think they were both $19.99. From what I can see, I like this more with my short hair. It's just, it's not as sleek as I usually dress. I like it more when things are more like sleek and like classy and you know, very simple classic things. And this is a little more out there for me, but I do really like the color. So this one's on you. You guys need to decide for me because Either way, I'm going to be super happy. But do not comment both. I only need one. So we've come very close to the end of the video. The last category that I have is shoes and I bought one, two, three, four, five. I bought five shoes. Uh, I bought them all in high heel boots. I thought it would be really nice to have. I already have sneakers and I'm a very big and loyal fan of Pumas. Like once I have one sneakers, that's just all I'm gonna wear. But when it comes to boots, I love to explore. So, they're all high heels. They're all around seven to eight centimeters tall, so they're not that tall and they have quite thick, mm, boxy heels, so they're not as painful to walk in. They're also very thin material, so it's not like I'm gonna sweat the shit out of myself. So the first shoes that I bought are these pink lilac colored high heels. All my shoes are in the size 39, and for these shoes, they fit really well. The only problem that I have with these is that the sole is quite thin. I expected them to be a little more comfortable given the fact that the top grips really well around your ankle. But overall, I think I would give these shoes I think an 8.5 going towards a 9. The next pair that I have are exactly the same shoes, but they are in black. Also fake leather. They fit exactly the same, so there's no problem with difference in sizes. They are 39, they do feel 39. The only problem is again, they're a little too thin up the bottom. There's no shape for your leg and no comfort for you to walk very long in them. Other than that, because they are from Stradivarius, I didn't really expect too much, especially for 20 euros. They do look really, really sleek. The next pair that I have are these shoes from Poland Bear. They are in size 39, but they fall a little too small. What I do like is that there is a very hard surface in the front part from the top going towards the ankle part here for support because the side material isn't gripping really well. The heels are really, really great. They are a very thick block, so I can assume they would be a little more comfortable to walk in. There's also a little more shape on the inside for comfort. Um, I think these would be really nice for winter and autumn. They're just a little too heavy and a little too... The fourth pair that I have are these very comfortable shoes with high heels that are only six centimeters tall. They are in a gray color and on the inside they have paddings for your feet. And because the heels aren't that tall, they, I think these are the most comfortable shoes or high heels that I've bought up until now. Camera died, but we're back at it. And I'm just gonna hold the camera right now. I think that's the best solution for this. I already automatically don't really like these. 
they're very stiff in the front and the fact that the zipper is in front and there's so much space for my ankle and my leg my whole leg these are not going to be comfortable like this part is going to hurt a lot so i will definitely be returning these but i didn't realize i was filming at being crooked i am so crooked in the video so guys we reached the end of the video i really hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it as much as i did uh, i really do love trying on new clothes and trying on new styles unfortunately it doesn't work for everybody everyone has a different style everybody has different preferences and different bodies so most of them i'm going to return but there are three things i'm going to keep i'm going to keep this black sweater because it is super comfortable to just wear i am going to keep the brown jacket the trench coat or the gray one also don't know which one i leave that up to you guys you guys need to comment down below and let me know which one looks best the crop tops weren't really doing so well except for the very sleek soft just really really basic ones i need to get them in a bigger size thank you so much for watching leave a comment down below to help me decide let me know if something doesn't look as nice because i do really love feedback subscribe and i'll see you guys next time just an FYI guys, I don't know if anyone's seen this company but it's called Popsocket and they have these really really cool gadgets. This at the bottom is stickered but you can take it off and they like send you two stickers. And this little tool is basically a tripod. For those who don't know, this gadget right here is the handiest little tool I've ever gotten. It's from Popsocket and there's a sticker underneath it, but they sent you two so you can like basically pop them anywhere you want. And what you do is you grab your phone with a pop socket on it, you floop that thingy out, and you just floop it in there. How incredibly handy is this? Don't look at my card phone. That is amazing, and this is basically how I do all my videos like reels and Instagram photos. If I'm not using a camera, then this is my bad boy right here.